guys are doing? Hey, uh, I'm a little nervous. Uh, this is my, actually my first time ever standing in front of a church on Sunday, not going to lie. But I'm not going to preach. I'm more tell, telling a testimony of how I had a chance to see Jesus more than once in the last two or three weeks. And I will be nervous, so I'm sorry if I trip over my name, like words or something. So it started about a little before uh, New Year's. Um, started. I kind of like the last a year and a half. I kind of left like, the church. I was kind of I got in a hole that a deep hole. Dug myself in a hole that I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what I would be doing. I kind of lost a little bit of faith because I, my prayers weren't answered. I didn't know how to kind of live this life. I, was, I had a lot of like sin that I was doing that I couldn't let go. And when I was coming here today, I actually pictured, or actually yesterday when I was coming here, I actually pictured myself standing here today. I, I, the reason why I know the Holy Spirit, the Spirit was letting me see that picture is because I saw trees in the background in, in the same little image I saw. I saw trees in the background. I didn't even know you guys had those little big white trees and the reeves. I didn't know you guys had that. And I pictured myself being here and without actually seeing that. And that's when I know the Holy Spirit's in me telling me to be here, telling you guys my testimony. I was, like I, like I said, I was in a bad place. I couldn't find myself. I was always going to sin. I kind of left church, but at the same time, I was showing up to church just to see if I can kind of find a redemption in myself. And uh, this was going on for a while, and uh, I, couldn't, I didn't really want to leave that hole because I was a little comfortable with the sins I was doing. Uh, it's, it's a place that you feel like you're not safe, but you're just comfortable there. You just like you have nothing to worry about. Um, and uh, I started uh, doubting myself every time I pray. Uh, every time I like ask God for something, I doubt myself. I was like, I'm like, I don't know. Just like, if you got, if you're there, could you help me out with something? But if it doesn't come true, I'm like, well, I guess I, uh, I just start doubting myself more and more and pushing myself and. I realized in the last couple, through two to three weeks, that doubt is what the devil uses to push you down. He uses you to take you down and push you down in a hole where it just kind of gets worse and worse as you go. And um, after New Year's, it was, uh, it was the Wednesday after youth, I was kind of I kind of still in that same hole. I was still looking, for, I started looking more for God looking more to see his glory. I started changing my prayers. I started asking God to let me see an obstacle that I can overcome to see your glory happen. And I haven't seen that for a little bit, and I had a chance. Uh, I was going home, and I was, uh, I was praying. I was coming from youth. I was going home, and I was praying, and I started crying. I was praying. I couldn't find myself. I was stuck in this hole that I couldn't get out, but I didn't know what it was at the time. I was... I was really, really scared of how to move forward, how to, uh, where, where am I going to be in the next year, you know, uh, or the next couple of days. I just kept on crying and crying and crying, and I was coming, I started, I started yelling out Jesus' name, started calling, crying out to Jesus, the Holy Spirit, I'm like, let me see the glory happen to me, like, and... That moment, I was, it took about 20 to 30 minutes from driving home. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop praying. But I looked to the side. I kind of took, it took me a second to realize. But I looked aside and I see Jesus looking at me. And I remember blue eyes. And that's all I remember. I looked once. I looked twice. I looked through three times. He's still there. And then when I started thinking to myself, what if that's just me? I look back and it's, he's not there. Because I started downing myself. I started downing myself that... That maybe that's just me thinking that he's here with me. But at the same time, my dad says, when you seek him, he's always going to be there with you, holding your hand. And I put my hand out when the first time I was out there, he's holding my hand, looking at me with the blue eyes. And all I see is, remember, deep blue eyes of love. And that's what I always heard about Jesus, because he always loves you. And I, I, I still kept my doubt to myself. I didn't tell anybody about this for like a week or two. 
And I kept on like moving on, and I came to my dad. I came to my dad, and I'm ask, I asked my dad, I'm like, how is this possible that I see Jesus? But when I started thinking to myself, I look back, he's gone. And I, I know just because I look back and he's gone, I started thinking maybe that's still me doing that. I kind of just pictured a reflection. But he told me I could see, like, the Holy Spirit can reflect Jesus off to you. And she, you can see a glory that your future of where you can be. But I still kind of doubted myself. So apakayosa. And I knew that I was, uh, like, my whole life I was Christian. Like, I was in a Christian family. But I was never really looking for freedom for, for like, through Jesus. And apakayosa. And still wasn't free. I, I believe, I, I was like, everybody's like, tell me, believe that you're going to be free. But. I still had some doubt, and it came a time that we were praying for tongue, tongue uh, for other people, and I came just to Bajerjit, Bajerjit, these people, uh, the kids that are trying to, and I actually, they actually had a, ch- I had a chance to aspavedovatsa, tell my sins that I'm stuck, the ones I have in, the, in, my, in my head, rolling through my head, the ones that I can't get away, I can't just... I can't. I had so much doubt that I'm gonna be saved from those sins because it hurts me every time I think them. And I had a chance to sit down with a sujitya, and he, and he told me, the only way is to believe and seek Jesus is, and you're gonna you're gonna find that freedom. Just keep on seeking it, and just don't just don't look back on those sins. And we we I told him everything, everything I had on my mind, and. I actually left that room. I felt so free, so free, and I pictured those eyes of love of Jesus. And I just got down on my knees. I started praying. I started filling up with the Holy Spirit. And from that day, I had so much more open up to me. Every time I read the Bible, I see something. The Bible opens up to yourself when you seek the Lord, when you seek Jesus. And... Right now, the Holy Spirit's with me, and I, just, I, just, I know that because I pictured me being here on the stage without me actually here, being here. And that Thursday, I was, uh, we prayed, and I was just filled the whole time I was praying. I was just filled with the Holy Spirit. I knew that he was with me, but at the same time, for some apparent reason, I still had a little bit of doubt. I couldn't, I don't know what it was from. And then... Come Friday, we had night service, and, or actually, on sorry, I'm back to Thursday, I actually was praying for something else that I brought someone else in uh, about a year and a half ago, something happened that I, uh, that I kind of, uh, I'm not going to say what exactly, so it is about a girl, I'm not going to lie, but it's, from there, someone said something happened that I got scared. And I, from there, I started getting doubt, and I brought her in with me with that. And when it came on that Thursday, I got an answer from God that I was seeking for a half a year, and I started getting doubt, a lot of doubt because I didn't get any answer from him. I just got a clear picture, empty picture. I never had no answer. And comes Friday... God give me a simple no. Just give me a he give me the most simplest no. And I didn't I didn't I didn't know how to believe that because I just the same thing I had a doubt in the back of my head saying that this is me thinking that. And at the end of the day, I come up to this person and I ask her, or I I, I ask, and I got the same exact answer that I that God gave me. He gave me the same exact answer that I was looking for for a while. And that's when I was like, my faith was like, like it started burning. I'm like, wow. I wasn't even mad that it was like a no. But I was just, I was shocked that it was the same answer I got from God. Because I started praying. I asked him to show me a sign. I don't, I, my prayers, it's like more of a, I pray to give me an obstacle that I can overcome and f- see the glory happen. And... When that answer came, and I was like, and that's another little thing that I kind of witnessed that in that three, we- uh, three weeks that me trying to find the Lord, I, like my dad telling me that, like, you can reflect Jesus off of you, you know. And I got an answer that I was looking for a while, and I, I, my faith kind of came up, but at the same time, the next day I fell again. 
I kind of went back and sin. I started watching videos, movies. I can't, didn't know where I was going to end up. I was kind of scared at that moment. And then comes Sunday. I don't know why. I came in. I walk into the church. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't know why. I'm just the first, I get first prayer, like just to pray about the, uh, the church that's going to happen. I was already filled with the Holy Spirit. I couldn't even, I couldn't stop myself. We, the prayer stopped. The, first, the second prayer, the, the preach, uh, first preacher comes up. He starts talking about the Holy Spirit and how it helped him in his life when he actually started seeking the truth. That filled me up, and I kept that. That's what, that's the start of it. And I was just burning the side. I was happy. I'm, I'm just smiling. For, I don't know why. I don't know why. The second the second preacher comes out. It's uh, he's talking about how the Holy Spirit guides you. He shows you the little the little things that you're seeking, but you have to seek and you have to believe that he's gonna show it to you. The third preacher. This was my final. Like today. Uh, a righteous man falls seven times and gets back up, but the sinful one falls once and it doesn't. And today, today the, the brat was talking about that and that filled me up and I'm like, I know I have to be here telling everybody. And I, uh, that's when I, 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 the preach didn't even start. I fell down. I'm just on my knees. I'm, uh, I didn't fall on my knees. I'm trying not to fall on my knees. I'm holding myself. I'm crying. I'm, I'm shaking. I just can't wait to pray. I can't wait to uh, praise the Lord. And right when, uh, right when, uh, right when the preacher, the, like people came up to me actually saying, are you okay? I'm shaking. They think I'm, I'm like lost somewhere. I don't know. But like, I'm just shaking. I'm like, yes, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Everything from the beginning, it's filling you up. And I, 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 pictured, I pictured those eyes of blue love. I picture those eyes of blue love that I can't get out of my head. It's rolling in my, it's, it's literally rolling out in, through my head. I seen Jesus sit by me more than once because I was seeking his glory. The Holy Spirit reflected me to, uh, he, they, he showed me him. But I was stuck in a doubt that I couldn't get out and the devil used, me, used that doubt to push me further in that hole. And at the end of the day, I was actually kind of happy, I was, I was comfortable in that hole. I didn't seek him, but then the day Jesus is reaching down to you guys. He has his arm here looking at you. I love you. I love you. I don't want you to leave. But if you don't want him, he's going to he's gonna go. But he's there looking down at you. He's gonna, I love you. You're, my, you're the reason why I, I was on that cross. You're the reason why I'm there. And that's what I saw. And when, I, when that prayer ended, I, I got on my knees. My hands got up. I didn't even do it. They just raised up. I was praising the Lord because I kept on seeing those eyes of love. And I pictured them pull me out. I was stuck in a hole of doubt that the devil used to push me down. And I know right now a lot of people are stuck in the same hole. A hole of doubt that they don't know how to get out of. And at the end of the day, Jesus is still looking at you, waiting for you to grab his hand. But you have to make that first, you have to make that first step. That first step to glory. And that's the light and the way to save. And after that, I'm, I, I'm, so, I'm still happy. I'm so happy. I'm just filled with the Holy Spirit. I couldn't stop praying. I was the one, I felt the Holy Spirit in me was leading the whole preach. The reading, reading the whole prayer. And I felt so great when I finished when I, when I was done praying, they stopped the prayer. I, could, I walked back to the other room, and I'm praying in the other room. I'm crying. And, but they pulled me back. They pulled me back in the front, and they were trying to figure out why am I so happy? Why am I, so, why am I praying so much? And I, why am I crying? It's because I came in, and God gave me the victory of doubt. And I know right now people are stuck in the same place that I was. But you have to seek it, and you have to grab it yourself. And right now, the Holy Spirit brought me to the spot. I wasn't even know if I was going to preach. I wasn't even ready. I didn't have anything written down. I just had a feeling I'm going to be here up on the stage telling you guys about my place, where I was, where I was stuck. And when I was going after, after the church, I was so happy. I was filled. I was praying. I was driving. I was with a buddy of mine, Vlad, and I was with my, my, with my brother. I was just driving. I was, we are going to a buffet. Not gonna lie, I was hungry after that prayer. I was, it was a lot of energy. And I went down, I, I called my dad. 
I'm like, Dad, I cried. Dad, I'm, I'm victorious. Jesus took me out and he picked me up from that hole that I was stuck in. And I would, every time I was stuck at place, I called my dad and he prayed for me then. And he started crying. And when I fell Saturday that day, that I didn't know where I could, where am I gonna, like, what's gonna happen next. And I realized why I came, walked into, the, I stepped into a church and I was filled with the Holy Spirit right away because my dad told me that when he went to Canada, he stopped at a prayer, like a camp. He stopped at camp and he said he told everybody about my struggles and they prayed for me. And when I realized he said that, I, I started crying. I couldn't stop. I was praising the Lord. I started praying. And that's when I know and that's where I believe that the Holy Spirit was leading me to the, he filled me up right away because everybody at Canada was filled with the Holy Spirit praying for me. And I was, I was just, that another thing that opened up, and that felt so good when he said that, because I was stuck, I was lost, I didn't know where to go. And when I went to the, uh, when, when we went to the buffet, first thing I did, I had no shame. I came up to the person to pay. I said, Jesus, save me today. I grabbed his arm, and he pulled me out. And I told her, I'm like, he can do the same for you, but you have to reach out and grab it. And that's, that's, I came and I kept on going. I came like, Jesus save me. I'm walking to the buffet. Jesus save me. I'm happy. And this is another miracle that happened to me after when I'm telling, I'm telling everybody I can about my testimony. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I told about 40, 50 people. I kept on telling everybody my testimony because I believe that this happened to me. I see, I saw it with my own eyes. I felt it with the Holy Spirit through me. And I was at the gym and a guy, a guy comes up, to, or I, I, I come up to a guy, I don't know why I came up to him, I talked to him once about a year and a half ago, and I tell him my testimony, how I got a chance to see the love of uh, Jesus, the eyes of the dark blue eyes of love, and I told him everything that I could, I'm like, if you ever feel, in, if you ever stuck in that hole, if you ever stuck in the hole, reach out to Jesus, pray out and call out his name, and he will be there waiting for you to call him, and he'll grab you, and he'll pull you up. And uh, what really made me feel that the Holy Spirit pushed me to tell him, and that's how I know, I have no doubt that this is something that I'm going to keep on doing uh, moving forward, is because he told me, he's like, I was in that same hole. Two weeks ago, I signed up for therapy because I think I was about to kill myself. I didn't know where I was going to go. And he hugged me because he needed that same help. And I got a chance to show him that light. But at the end of the day, you guys have to make the choice of Paul grabbing Jesus' arm from him standing there, holding, waiting for you to grab it. You have to make that leap. You can't be comfortable in that hole that you are. I was in sin. I was comfortable. I didn't, I didn't know. I, just, I was digging myself a deeper hole. But if you guys, if you guys are going to keep on digging, you guys can dig, dig, dig so far, but you guys are going to get lost in that hole that you can't find a way. That's why if you really want to seek it now, he's there waiting for you to grab his hand. And amen. I just want everybody to know that Jesus loves you. And I had a chance to see the love of his eyes. And that's the best thing I've ever witnessed. And I want to...